Getting started, you're gonna need one yard of heavier weight fabric. I recommend canvas or twill, and also one yard of lining. Two zippers, one 10 inch and one 16 inch. Two yards of one and a half inch webbing and one yard of one inch webbing. Two one inch plastic buckles. One one and a half inch buckle and strap adjuster. And lastly, you need your pattern, and this pattern is available at ProfitFitClothing.com. Super easy to use, just download it, print it, and you're ready to go. And the links for all the supplies will be in the description, so definitely go check that out. Getting started, go ahead and trace and cut out your pattern. Make sure you cut lining for the side panels, the main panels, and the zipper panels. And cut four strap panels. Grab the top pocket panel and place the right side on the zipper in the center of that zipper. Pin it on and sew along that edge. Flip that panel flat and then go ahead and top stitch on that seam allowance. Grab the bottom pocket panel and make marks two inches from the sides on the top of that panel and then grab two inches of webbing and feed it through your one inch buckles and place those on the outsides of those marks. Go ahead and do this on both sides, make sure you pin them on and then grab your top panel that you sewed onto the zipper, place it on the opposite side, pin it on and sew across that edge. Flip those buckles up and top stitch under those buckles along that seam allowance. Grab a 10 inch piece of webbing and make three even marks and place it in the center of that bottom panel. Pin it on and stitch vertical on those marks. And you're going to want to go back and forth a few times to really secure it on. Cut two 8 inch pieces of webbing and we're going to place these directly under those buckles. And we're gonna sew as close as we can to the edge so that way they're secured on and they don't get unaligned when you sew on the side panel. Then go ahead and feed that webbing through the buckle starting at the back and working towards the front. Pull it out just enough so that way you can fold that end over and hem it. And I like to fold it over twice so that way it doesn't have a raw edge sticking out. And once you have it folded over, go ahead and do a straight stitch across that webbing and then go ahead and do this for both sides. Grab one of your main panel linings and place it directly behind this panel and sew all the way around the outside edge. Grab your zipper panels, both the outside and the lining, and you're only gonna need two of them to start. So take your lining, place it on the back of the zipper and the right side of the outer layer on the front side of the zipper. Pin it on and sew across that edge. And make sure you have the zipper panel in the center of that zipper. Then go ahead and fold those panels towards the outside and top stitch along that edge. Then grab your other two zipper panels and we're gonna do the exact same thing on the opposite side and make sure that you have the zipper panels lined up exactly. Fold those panels out and top stitch along that edge.
grab both of your main side panels and then grab your zipper panel place the right sides together sandwiching that zipper panel in between the lining and the outside layer and you're going to want to sew that shorter edge over the zipper once you have that sewn on you can go ahead and snip the zipper end off Flip the side panels down and go ahead and add a top stitch along that seam. Now we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side. Just go ahead and invert those side panels and pin it on. Before we start sewing, make sure that zipper train is moved towards the inside of that panel. Go ahead and trim that zipper, flip the right sides out, and top stitch along that edge. Grab your main panel and your side panel, mark the centers on both the side panel and the main panel, and what you want to do is line those centers up and pin all the way around the outside edge. Move that front panel zipper towards the center of the panel. And then go ahead and sew along that entire outside edge. This part can be a little bit tricky, so definitely just take your time. Then go ahead and trim the zipper and webbing ends. At this point, I like to pop the right side out just to make sure that all the edges are completely sewn and it's not missing any layers. Grab your strap panels and take two of them and place the right sides together and what we're going to do is bias tape all the way around the outside edge. So we're going to be using a double fold bias tape binder to clean up those edges and you can definitely get these for domestic sewing machines too. We're going to have links in the description. So go ahead and cut out long pieces of bias tape that are the right measurements to the width of your binder. The other option is to use a bias tape making kit and this is where you pretty much just make your own bias tape. And it comes with a presser foot that helps you attach the bias tape to your garment. And it's pretty simple to use. All you have to do is cut a strip, feed it through, and iron it. And after that, it works the same as the bias tape. You just fold it over and sew it on or you use that attachment. And it's super simple. Just sew along that outside edge with the bias tape. And if you don't have bias tape, you can always sew the right sides together and flip the right sides out. And you should have the same thing, but you're not going to have that bias tape look. Grab your one and a half inch webbing, cut a yard of it, and then you're going to place it about an inch from the top. Pin that on and stitch along the edge of that webbing. Grab the back main panel and back lining, and you're going to place a strap in the center of those shorter edges. Pin those on and stitch as close as you can to the outside edge. With the centers marked, go ahead and place that back panel lined up with those centers and pin all the way around the outside edge and make sure that you have all the straps on the inside of the bag. And once you have it pinned on, go ahead and sew all the way around the outside edge. And to finish off the inside, you're going to want to add the bias tape along these inside edges on both sides. This will give it extra strength on those seams and make it look professional on the inside. Once you added the bias tape, go ahead and flip the right side out. The 
Now we're going to add the one and a half inch buckle to the strap. So feed it through the end that doesn't have the adjuster. Fold it over twice and stitch along that edge. On the opposite strap, start by adding the strap adjuster. Grab the opposite side of the buckle with the adjusters and feed it through just like you did on the one inch buckles. Pull enough slack out and then what you're going to do is feed it through the center of that strap adjuster and back out. And once you have that pulled out, you're going to want to flip it over twice just like the other side and stitch along that edge. And make sure you only stitch on that strap. Now we're going to go ahead and add zipper pulls and you can either use parachute cord or regular zipper pulls that you buy online. And we're going to go ahead and use the ones that you buy online. They're super easy to use. All you have to do is feed them through your zipper and pull them back through and tighten them. And there you have it. Your fanny pack is complete. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Let us know what you think. We're going to keep the videos coming at you. So we'll see you next time.